Hello, this is the Eastern Idaho Weather Hazard Briefing for Wednesday, November 2nd. So key points to go through to today is we have colder weather and brisk conditions today. Uh, we do have a little bit of rain and snow uh, running around out there today, but most of that will be coming in uh, today, maybe lingering a little bit into the evening hours tonight. And then uh, we expect dry weather until Friday when our next system arrives for Friday into Saturday. So looking at our satellite image today, you can see that storm system rolling through uh, Idaho. And looking at our weather risk outlook, most of our uh, stronger winds are already over across the region, uh, but we are looking for breezy conditions across uh, portions of the most of the East Idaho today. Uh, not so much uh, back into the Central Mountains and Magic Valley though. Uh, once again, uh, we are looking for some uh, better snows uh, potential up uh, across our high country uh, going into the weekend, uh, Friday night into Saturday. And then maybe some lingering light rain or snow uh, on Sunday as well. So current uh, watches and warnings in effect. We have a high wind warning still in effect for uh, a few hours early this morning. Uh, across extreme southeast Idaho. That includes Preston, Soda Springs, Montpelier. And then uh, we have a wind advisory that is in effect for most of Snake Plain and South Hills and Upper Snake Highlands region. So there's our cold front that passed through the region early this morning. We just have to deal with a little bit of uh, lingering uh, snow across uh, mainly the high country today into this evening. This is looking at our high temperature forecast today. Uh, temperature is not really going to go uh, too much farther uh, up than where they are uh, currently early this morning. Uh, just sort of looking at our wind gust forecast uh, for this morning, you're still seeing uh, we're hanging on to some breezy conditions in behind that front. But as we go in through the afternoon hours, uh, those winds will begin to lessen. And then this is looking at our snow amount forecast for the rest of today. Uh, main uh, areas of concern are mainly up around Stanley with another inch or so as possible. Uh, Island Park is still seeing another inch or two um, this today. Uh, Teton Pass, another inch or two. Soda Springs, uh, up by Georgetown, uh, another inch or two. And then up across the uh, Wasatch, we'd probably get the heaviest uh, bound snow with an additional three to five inches possible there. Um, lesser amounts down here uh, by Preston. Although some of the higher uh, terrain here, we could still pick up an additional inch or so of snow uh, throughout the day today. As we go into the, the evening hours tonight, uh, most of the snow uh, is over across a large part of the region, except for in our south hills and our southern southeast highlands. We're not looking at a whole lot of snow out of this, probably less than an inch, uh, even up high, uh, not a whole lot of additional snow really effect, expected. And most of that should come to an end. Uh, by 9 or 10 o'clock this evening. Uh, looking at our wind gusts going in the evening, you see those winds starting to come down across the region. And as we go through the overnight hours, those winds really should lighten up across most of the region. So any blowing and drifting issues you might have out there uh, would be over by the overnight hours. This one looking at our day two forecast for Thursday, high pressure and control of the region. Looking for mostly dry conditions across the area on Thursday. This is our level temperature forecast for Thursday morning. And then there's looking at a highs of rebounding into the 30s and uh, low 40s for Thursday. And then once again, as we go into Friday here, we're starting to see uh, moist northwest flow starting to kick in across the region as high pressure departs. Uh, we will start seeing a little bit of uh, precipitation start to move back into the area, mainly late Friday afternoon, Friday night, and once again on Saturday. So this is just looking at your high temperature forecast for today, for Friday. Temperature is really not going too far. Once again, uh, generally in the 30s to low 40s possible. Snow amounts uh, Friday. Really, the, during the day on Friday, there's not a whole lot going on. Might see some stuff in the afternoon up in the higher terrain possible. Um, and then as we go in the, the low temperature forecast for Saturday morning, uh, temperature is generally at freezing or maybe slightly above freezing across the Snake Plain, but below freezing in our high country areas. Uh, snow amounts for Friday night, uh, generally uh, less than an inch in the Snake River Plain and uh, uh, in, even in our valleys, uh, zones in the mountains uh, and highland areas. 
However, those passes generally up above, uh, let's say 5,500 feet, you will start seeing the more better accumulations of snow. Look, once again, looking for about one to two inches for most places. Island Park could pick up two to three out of this and up around Stanley, uh, probably two to four is, is, is quite possible up that way. Then looking at our high temperature forecast for Saturday, this is a, a somewhat, uh, somewhat warm system. Uh, so our temperatures will rebound into the 40s across much of the area on Saturday. And then this is looking at the additional snow amounts for Saturday. Um, a lot of this does come in the morning, uh, except for perhaps up in the central mountains. Uh, this, these heavier amounts could stick around uh, through a good chunk of the day on Saturday. Uh, but uh, down in our valley communities, most of the snow amounts you see in here would be Saturday morning. Um, and then up at high, uh, let's say up above 6,000 feet, probably snowing uh, continuously throughout the day on Saturday. So just to summarize, uh, colder weather has returned to the area, brisk conditions today. Those winds will uh, 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 start to weaken this afternoon and certainly die off this evening. And uh, rain and snow will be coming to an end uh, late this afternoon or this evening across the entire area. Uh, our next system arrives on Friday with additional snow possible. So if you have any questions or comments, here's our phone number and our email address. Please get in touch with us and we'll get back to you. Thank you.